नमस्कार जय श्री कृष्ण इल्यूमिनेटिंग टेक्स्ट थर्टी फाइव टेक्स्ट थर्टी सिक्स एंड टेक्स थर्टी सेवन ऑफ चैप्टर थ्री कृष्ण इज द सोर्स ऑफ ऑल इनकारनेशन ऑफ फर्स्ट एंड क्रिएशन ऑफ श्रीमद भागवतम टेक्स थर्टी फाइव एवं जन्मानी कर्माणी हय कर तुर जन से वर्णयंती स्म कवयो वेद भूयानी ऋतपते ह दस लर्नेड मैन डिस्क्राइब द वर्ड्स एंड एक्टिविटीज ऑफ द अनबॉर्न एंड इन एक्टिव विच इज अनडिस्कवर्ड इवन इन द वेदिक लिटरेचर्स He is the Lord of the heart. Both the Lord and the living entities are essentially all spiritual. Therefore, both of them are eternal, and neither of them has birth and death. The difference is that the so-called births and disappearances of the Lord are unlike those of the living beings. The living beings who take birth and then again accept death are bound by the laws of material nature. But the so-called appearance and disappearance of the Lord are not actions of material nature, but are demonstrations of the internal potency of the Lord. They are described by the great sages for the purpose of self-realization. It is stated in the Bhagavad Gita by the Lord that his so-called birth in the material world and his activities are all transcendental, and simply by meditation on such activities one can attain realization of Brahma and thus become liberated from material bondage. In the Shrutis, it is said that the birthless appears to take birth. The Supreme has nothing to do, but because he is omnipotent, everything is performed by him naturally, as if done automatically. As a matter of fact, the appearance and disappearance of the supreme personality of Godhead and his different activities are all confidential, even to the Vedic literatures. Yet they are displayed by the Lord to bestow mercy upon the conditioned souls. We should always take advantage of the narrations of the activities of the Lord, which are meditations on Brahma in the most convenient and palatable form. Text thirty-six. Sarva idam vishvam mogali laha. सूर्यत्यूतेषुचातरहितुणेशुणेशुणेशुणेशुणेशुणेशुणेशुणेशुणेशुणेशुणेशुणेशुणेशुणेशुणेशुणेशुणेशुणेशुणेशुणेशुण
and mental speculation are always in ignorance. With such limited knowledge, they are unable to penetrate into the mysterious region of transcendence. The mental speculators are a little more progressive than the gross materialists or the fifty workers because they are also but within the grip of illusion and they take it for granted that anything which has form, a name and activities is but a product of material energy. For them, the Supreme Spirit is formless, nameless and inactive. And because such mental speculators equalize the transcendental name and form of the Lord with mundane names and form, they are in fact in ignorance. With such a poor fund of knowledge, there is no access to the real nature of the Supreme Being. As stated in Bhagavad Gita, the Lord is always in a transcendental position even when He is within the material world. But ignorant men consider the Lord one of the great personalities of the world and thus they are misled by the illusory energy. Hare Krishna!